Hi, I'm Exesis, and this is Hearts of Iron 4 by Blood Alone, where we're playing Italy with uh, going for the achievement run for Not Today. And we were, we just instigated the civil war in the last episode. And as we can see here, we are running a little bit low on fuel, so let's see if we've got anyone who wants to help us out. Romania down here has got some fuel. Are we allowed to trade with them? Why are we not allowed? Maybe we don't have any factories. But that could be a problem. Because all the civilian industry, of course, is down south. Well then, there's uh, not going to be any fuel for us today, I'm guessing. Let's grab some more support equipment. We're actually lacking of that. Or did we get any... And here we can see at least the uh, the B's and the C's, they, they reinforce properly. But the, uh, the A's here does, does not seem to want to reinforce properly. I wonder if we can spot why that is. Let's just rename that one to A as well. So this one has... Uh, it's probably because this one has a bomb bay and we changed it to bomb locks. So this one cannot do uh, any tactical bomber missions. While the bomb bay can do tactical bomber missions. Uh, the, they can do the, this one, the small bomb bay. It uh, can do port strikes. But it can't do naval attacks. Whilst the uh, bomb blocks, they can do naval strikes, but they can't do port, port attacks. So you need to be a little bit wary there. So when we change that one over, it actually started counting as a completely different uh, close air support. And uh, thus they can't reinforce the same wings. So they need to be uh, exactly the same type for them to actually work. Let's uh, keep on pushing here. That should be fine. We should be able to push them out of the mountains. Yeah, let's uh, keep moving up here. And everyone here just pile on into the next mountain tile. We can get some support from the armor division up there. And let's uh, move down into this hill tile. I wonder how far we need to go. We need to do any kind of naval invasions. Ethiopia is almost clean house with the fascists down in Africa. Yeah, let's uh, help out there again. And here, let's... Uh, I kind of want to push in there while we can. They're newly arrived, so that should be fine. Let's uh, grab the rest and also push onwards. And that's it. Uh, oh, of course, they managed to relocate. Uh, the closer support up here isn't doing very much good. Just move it down a little bit. Uh, as are the fighters, we should be able to fit them into this airport as well. Then we could assign them to the front line, I guess, and kind of keep them going that way. Let's redraw the this front line. Let's uh, push it downwards into the toe. Okay, so the Italian Republic is finished off. And we can continue down to the popular front until the civil war has been won. Uh, that's, uh, do we need the trucks? No, but the consumer goods might be helpful. Considering our lack of civilian industry. Do we have anything over here that will give us a civilian industry? Yeah, that would be these two. In Rome, of course. Yeah, so we can, can't really do anything down here at the moment. Yeah, let's, uh, let's grab this one. It's fine. Uh, 
Okay, so we might need to do something with our aircraft here before we run out. I think these ones are are not as efficient. And let's uh, turn these ones off for now. And I got the. Uh, I wonder if we can select an icon for these two. Oh yes, here we go. We can have some good-looking fighter ones here, and we can select some uh, bomb-looking ones here. That's good. And uh, these should not be able to, but we can select a color for them. And these can be the red ones, and these can be the uh, green ones. And that did help a bit with our fuel supply. We can manage to keep our close air support and fighters in the air. Uh, single seat aircraft, of course, have a. Uh, these are all on the medium airframe. So they have a. Uh, do we have it? Fuel usage of 0.48. And I think that's for the uh, entire air wing. No, that's probably per plane, actually. That's 0.48 per plane. And if we go in here and we look at our close air support, they're at 0.21. So we can fly twice as many of these. And uh, these, of course, have a, a ground attack of 6. And these ones have a ground attack of 8. So we're actually getting a lot more ground attack per fuel from these ones. Um, maybe we should not be standing still. They are planning an offensive. Let's make sure that they cannot conduct it. We will keep pushing on Rome. And uh, yeah, of course they don't have any missions. We had to unassign them because we don't have the fuel for them. And now as combat sets up again, of course they will fl fly again. Uh, okay, that's an uh, interesting thing. We'll deal with that one in a bit. So this uh, enemy air superiority bonus that the uh, AI is taking here. And uh, our... Uh, if we look on their defense here. Enemy air superiority. That is what the fighters are providing into this battle. The close air support are bombing them, of course, up here. Now we've selected a battle that hasn't been going on or... We see, yeah, here we've got something that's actually happened. So the uh, one of the cast wings have uh, gotten in here and they've managed to do some organization and strength damage. And they are still getting the minus modifier from enemy air superiority. And uh, likewise, we actually get a bonus for air support. So this isn't a 6.8% bonus, it's actually a 12.9%. 12 percent bonus because the enemy is also reduced by the same amount oh they can't actually that's quite fun because these have 5.27 armor which is literally nothing but none of the uh, enemy divisions can pierce them uh, they've actually changed the piercing here so that they deal less damage it's quite nice that they actually say it this way so that we know that one of their divisions, um, presuming this one, can do 80% of the damage. And two of them deal 65 and one deal 50. So even if you can't pierce the enemy, as long as you have a close enough value. It's not all or nothing with armor anymore. which is, Or armor and piercing, which is a really good change. Okay, so the Italian Mafia rises again. The civil war has been cause of a lot of bloodshed and grief and has shaken the very foundations of the Italian Union. The chaos has also left a power vacuum, which is now being filled by the resurgent mafia in the Italian Union. Suppressing the mafia was perhaps the only good thing the fascists managed to do. That's another problem to manage. Sicily, uh, mafia on the rise. So we... Uh, have a bunch of uh, modifiers going on down here then. So we've got the infrastructure construction speed which we're not using and the uh, mafia on the rise. We don't actually have any operatives so that doesn't matter. A little bit of less supply, local resources construction speed so it doesn't actually affect us. Not at least not until we are down there. Oh wow that was a, a, a good the encirclement we got off there. That's two divisions that they're not going to be able to keep fighting us with. Uh, let's keep going with one of the militias down here and see if we can take uh, Abruzzo. 
Let's uh, keep finding out. And we want the armor divisions to push here. I think this is a hill style. It should be perfectly fine for tanks to operate in. I disperse the industry. I'm not too bothered about this one. Let's uh, keep on going down. Let's see if we've managed to capture any civilian factories. 11 and uh, they're all used. Maybe we cancel this rubber trade. Let's grab some Romanian or not Romanian now. Uh, we don't want to trade over water though. I don't want to trade with the Soviets. Let's get some Iranian oil then. Yes, that's fine. We're not building anything anyway. We're not in a worse off position than we were before. There we go. Let's uh, keep on piling down here. This has been a long battle. Uh, we've done loads of damage. I wonder if they made any changes to how the tactics work. It would be nice to see. Okay, so Giovanni is almost an organizer, and almost an infantry leader. And uh, Norma, of course, isn't uh, gaining any experience. How's it going for Mario? Oh, it's a good way there. Would be nice if we can see if we've got any uh, of our divisions here, if they've if we sort them by experience. Yeah, I saw one there. Yeah, if we go by citation, we can actually see some of these divisions have uh, got some kind of details here. So this is one of the other things we can do. So we marched into Ferrara and Bologna, liberating our people from the Italian oppression. The uh, Alpine Division, and they seized an airfield at Ancona. So we can see a little bit of history of what this division has done. And uh, this commander will, of course, gain a little bit of uh, experience. Or start with a bit of experience if we promoted him. And we can grant a citation, or uh, give them a medal. So we can increase their HP and breakthrough. And we can give them a could give them a war merit cross that would increase the division recovery rate and capture ratio. And I'm assuming this actually gives them a capture ratio so they can start capturing equipment. I think we'll test that one. Uh, Order of Savoy, so we can uh, reduce supply consumption, but it does reduce defense, uh, saving too much. Or first class that uh, increases attack instead. And this costs political power. So obviously at this point in a normal game, you want to spend your political power on uh, on actually useful things. But um, let's go with this one. So they, for this uh, this deed they did on the 9th of October, they, they marched into Ferrara and Bologna. They got the War Merit Cross. And we'll see if they can... Presumably they captured loads of equipment there for us. It's a very cool RP aspect, this one. I think we're going to be able to use it quite a lot in our playthroughs in the future. Alright, so accomplish this one's a new one. Oh, and that means it costs less to grant medals. That's cool. Uh, field officer division penalty. Minus one. Does that mean... I wonder what that one means. Oh, maybe if they have a... Uh, we'll have to see. I have to read up on that one. Don't need the manpower. Tip of the spear. I like this one. I think we're going to go with the uh, bold attack, though. Do we have anything that will actually help us right, right now? I uh, guess that would be this one. Let's, uh, let's grab that one. It's, it's cooler, right? Should have done that one before. Uh, militia units can have uh, decorations. Let's uh, see what we can uh, grab down here then. Or we get to select from the same ones. There supposedly is a bunch of other ones from depending on what's, what they've actually done. This is marched into Firenze. So an another one taking a victory point is what this is. And uh, we got that one on the mountain division, the fourth. 
Let's uh, grab a cross of valor here then. And taking a lot of casualties. That makes sense. Let's see what the militia have. They've marched into Torino. And uh, well, they are militias. Let's, uh, let's give the militia divisions the 5th class order of Savoy for reduced supply consumption. Now we need some more political power before we can do the last one here. And I think you're supposed to be able to mass give them in some kind of way too. Oh, we can pan them too, so we can actually right click them and we'll end up where we so we know that uh, here's the division we gave a medal to. wonder if we can see it somewhere on this screen. Probably not. And doesn't look like we can see it on the details here. We have to go into history to actually see that they received something. Would be good if they had some good kind of like an icon like this. On the, below this one that yes we have a medal. So that I know that this, this is one of the divisions I'm keeping track of. Okay, so we appealed to the bourgeois. We got some manpower and some trucks, lots of trucks actually. And now oh yeah, there's some uh, consumer goods. And we are now in control of uh, Tuscany. So let's uh, grab this one. We will get the actually. There we get, so get some equipment. We don't really need the equipment though, do we? Uh, equipment capture ratio. Uh, yeah, sure. That could be useful. Okay, well, um, you're better off being in the Navy. I wonder if this would be cool if you could grant things to the uh, to ships as well. For their deeds. If they had added it here too, but it doesn't look like they have. Um... Doesn't doesn't really matter who we select here. Let's say Cab Incio Campagno. We're not gonna be using the navy. Okay, so we need to move up here. And let's uh yeah, we need to redeploy a little bit before we begin the siege of Rome. I'm gonna take Anzio before we march into Rome, I think. So let's uh, push a little bit down that way. Uh, go there directly. And uh, yeah, help out that way. No, that's not what we wanted to do. Still want to push this way, I think, and uh, keep those in place. We should be able to push down south here quite easily. Italy offensive operation, yeah, they, they're supposed to get names, all of these. They're supposed to be able to rename them somehow too. Probably under the edit one, right? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, figure it out somehow. Okay, so we have uh, successfully encircled Rome. Let's send our regular divisions that we have sitting around here into Rome. That should be a good fight, quick fight. I shouldn't have very much to come from it. They are encircled, of course, and they. Uh... Okay, and all of these can pierce our. That's probably because we blow now. No idea. Oh, because the penalty, they got a big penalty there. Okay, so we captured Rome, got back some of our factories. Let's put another one into those area support. We should have enough to start importing some rubber again. And we can get it without convoys from Malaya. That was weird. Let's uh, grab some from France. It makes makes more sense. And they are our neighbor after all. 
and uh, half communist at this point in time. I wonder if we... Oh, uh, Messi got a trade here. So let's select infantry. And I wonder if we managed to get any other... Uh, probably got from Firenze. No, that's the old one, isn't it? No. Yeah, took part in the occupation of Roma. And is this the same? No, this is a militia one. Do we need to reorder? No. Oh, so this is uh, this is the uh, division that we put an order on before. So they got the Cross of Valor for the last one. And they can have another one. And it costs more, of course, to stack. It would have cost uh, 15 the last time we did this. It costs 18.75 to give them another one. And it keeps on increasing that way, of course. And once you've gained enough experience, you can promote them into uh, officers. And uh, if they have 600, that's really good. You can get infantry engineers or Ascaris. And I guess this depends on what kind of division they are commanding. Yeah, let's uh, keep pushing into the mountains there. So if uh, they are commanding this, so they're gonna get something related to the uh, to, to infantry or engineers. So if we had a armor division, they'd probably get something more along those lines. We can probably check that if we go in again. A tooltip should give us some kind of indication. Here we have our armor division. So if we were to promote to promote him when he's got 600 experience, we'd gain an armor officer. That's really nice to know. I wonder what Ascari is. I wonder if we have one. Uh, no. It's just Praska. Don't have very many generals now, do we? Oh, okay. Because we seized the old equipment, we got railway guns and armored trains. I completely missed that in this. No? Great for railway guns. Oh man, that's loads. Okay, so what's this one then? Servicio. Create an information military operative slots. This is a free intelligence agency. That's quite nice that we can actually do that one still. Yeah, we won't do the uh, Italian secret police though. So. Might want to do the Rome Flying School. Oh, I think. Oh, which one? This one down here that is. All sorts of bonkers. Um, fighter designs. Could be this one. C202. Yeah, probably. Or is it supremacy in disguise? Capini. Tupaero. I think it's either either this one, the fighter designs or supremacy in the supremacy in the skies. It should be supremacy in the skies, of course. It's the Campini N1, which was an Italian motor jet. So by unlocking the, uh, by taking this focus, and if you uh, kind of go down, you need to be at war with a major for this one. If you can get past uh, this one by, I don't know, declaring war on France early, you can get down to uh, Supremacy in the Skies for the Campini N1. And that will grant you the uh, modern airframe and uh, jet engine and uh, cannons that you can use for whatever you want. Uh, essentially, you unlock one of the best fighters in the game by just getting down here, and you can get that done by 37 with an early war. If you really want to game the tree as it is right now, they're probably going to fix that so it uh, doesn't work out that way. Okay, we should have gotten a bunch of railway guns down here. Let's... Uh, we have absolutely no use for this many railway guns. 
Let's uh, assign some of them then. It's so thin here that we don't need more than one. It should probably be uh, guarding more of these ports. We're gonna need more of the militia units. Maybe we can punch these ones out. Yeah, let's punch those out and grab another six. And Rome, why not? Or well, because the capital moved to Rome now, and this is occupied territory after that. Um, we want to have these divisions on in our main army, and once they've arrived, we can remove the militia for garrison duty. Let's uh, grab the armored trains here to 28 days. No, let's, uh, let's not. Let's just uh, keep building the civilian trains for now. That's fine. Uh, let's uh, get rid of that. Uh, except we want to do it this way first. So that we can uh, not have that icon glaring at us. Oh, we need to select a new national focus. And we need to win this civil war. Let's get the uh, flying school. Okay, so we want to keep going down here, I think, and to Napoli. I don't know if you can see these toasts, but I'm guessing you can. Um, that's, uh, I haven't found a way to turn them off. It's uh, a little bit annoying. Okay, so it looks like we can probably pull these into this army. It's, she can have the rest of them assigned there too. We only need the one for our front line here. Yeah, so those are, if you go through here, you can go into the playthrough overview and you can see loads of different uh, stats. And uh, they added these award things here that pops up as soon as you get them. We'll see how long time it takes until they calm down. That's another mill. Let's put it on here. No, we want it on artillery, I think. Yeah, that makes more sense. Convoys. Why do we have convoys going here? We are shipping supplies out. This is uh, not the place we want to have supplies in. Let's uh, just close down the Mediterranean. We don't want anything to go by water, we'd rather have our supplies go by land. Oh, we haven't even put them all down here. Let's grab them onto Rome so they at least cover the front line. Uh, for close air support, the ranges should matter. They shouldn't join any battles outside the range. For fighters, you just div divvy up the uh, on uh, mission efficiency. So if you got the 30% mission efficiency, only 30% of your fighters will actually go into combat. The uh, same works for close air support, but they also are actually limited by their range from what I understand. That's a little bit fun that we got them both on the front line here, even though I've assigned them to... Uh, maybe they're us using one of the railway guns as a port defender here. I wonder if we can train any more of these. We should be able to train up. Oh, that's not how I wanted to do it. Yamishi Rose. No. Yeah, that's fine. And in Rome. Because we're still at war with ourselves, we can't really do very much there. Let's uh, keep pushing down here. We got regular troops on the front lines here. And now we're getting, getting the uh, bonus to from the railway gun bombardment. That's a minus to their defense. I want to keep on going down south there. I want to keep going to Taranto and all the way down. 
the heel of Italy. Let's uh, keep going in this direction. And I'm thinking we probably got this in our in the bag soon enough. Let's uh, keep on going down. And there we go. The Italian uh, fascists have uh, surrendered. Got a bunch of small equipment there. I mean, interwar light tank chassis. I think they are not actually tanks, they're just the chassis. And Ethiopia is also in this. Uh, that was cool. Okay, so we've got a peace conference going with Ethiopia. And this is one of the reasons I wanted to do one of these quick campaigns first, so we can actually take a look at the new peace conference uh, thing here. So we obviously only get our course in the north here. And we want to keep on going down south. And I'm guessing that uh, Ethiopia will want to take what's part of Ethiopia down there will gladly give up our empire down south now we've got our different demands over on this side so everything that we want to take is on the left side now and all the uh, victors and beneficiaries are on the right side and guessing we can see what kind of demands they make after the first turn we got 72% of the war support or war score and the peace conference here has five turns and we can see that we have a score of 249 and we will receive 249 each turn to spend on our demands so we have a finite amount of war score to work with for this peace conference so uh, obviously we want to uh, we can't even take all of our navy back from in one turn so if we wanted the navy we'd have to spend two and a half turns worth of war score on just taking the navy and uh, through this we can uh, take states just works as uh, normal and we want to have our core territory back please and i think uh, no one's going to contest this so we can see our score ticking down here and once that hits no it's no yeah and now we can see we can't take everything here because it's too expensive now we could liberate that's uh, anywhere we, we could go down and start liberating down here and do we have one that's not very expensive no would be nice to see uh, see the what happens when they want to we might be able to do something like that change government uh, dmz can uh, take resource rights could take the one steel or two steel down here war reparations probably can't do that because it's a civil war and we've got uh, cores and everything uh, dismantle the military industry uh, would not help us we we could and that's on the change government so these are uh, if we were to uh, let's say I don't know puppet and dismantle industry we could puppet Italy and uh, dismantle the military industry in Rome for example or we could uh, add war reparations we can only do that to places where there's actually factories because this uh, is civilian factories uh, resource rights we should be able to do that one down here right so we could uh, get resource rights in uh, a puppet and get resource rights in uh, Eritrea no, we're not going to do that, of course. We might want to pop it down here, though. I, would, I do want to see if this score actually carries over into the next turn, because it should. So we've grabbed our core territory here. That's the what I'm interested in uh, for this part. 
We've also grabbed the Dodekinese down here. Don't think that's a core though, that should be a colony for us. So let's, uh, let's submit our demands. And can we get down? We can see what Ethiopia did. So Ethiopia has now taken the Somaliland and Utaland and Eritrea. And they've taken it. So what we could do is go in and uh, contest this and say that, oh no, actually we want to have this too. And we might actually want to do that. We'll just uh, make sure that we pop it all of this first. So our score did carry over the 31 that we had left from the last one. And world tension is uh, here as usual. And the longer all of these states stay uncontested, the more expensive they will be for anyone else to try to take from us. So if you really want a state, you want to be first on it. It also means that uh, the AI is not going to steal that one province you need for an achievement from right under your nose without actually having some kind of say in it, as long as you've got enough. So we want to... No, not liberate, we want to puppet. And we want to puppet all of Libya. And uh, let, let's contest one of these. I think this flag... Yeah, no, this flag here. So Ethiopia has made the demands for Eritrea. And we will, we will contest that just to show how it works. And uh, let's uh, working, start working on taking some ships here as well. Yeah, we want to probably start with taking the, the big ones. So it says down here before we submit that some of your bids have a, will result in a contested bid because another country has already made similar demands. And then on the third turn we then get this uh, contested demands. And we can uh, select them all and just click demand here. And we'll push our demands even harder in the next rounds. And this of course costs us uh, an additional 39 war score. So on top of the 30... I don't know. No, we, 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 it cost us 32 during the last round. We did get those back. And it will cost us 39 to raise the bid on this state. So we want to keep working on the navy. We want to get our navy back. And we've got some score left. Can we take this one then? So we will... Uh, uh, we'll see. I wonder, wonder if it doesn't account for both of these. You probably need to select something here first. And I believe even if you press forfeit, you can go in and make a new bid on it if you wanted to. Uh, let's, let's push this one a little bit further. So we've made... A bit there too. Oh yeah, now we're on minus one. So we need to get rid of one from here. We can get Trieste instead. And that can bring us out to an even zero. And uh, I'm guessing they will continue to contest here. So they they still want to have... Uh, they they want to take the state. And we want to uh, uh, grab it. So uh, we will let them have it, I think. Uh, just so we can get out of here, but it's it's a cool feature that you actually get to bid a little bit now on states that you really want to have. I will forfeit that demand, I think. Uh, close. And we can't get all our navy back. No, we actually need to select it and then forfeit it. And then we give them Eritrea. And we should have... Did we get enough for it? Yeah, then we got our war score back and we can select the, uh, the ships there. So now there's nothing left to make demands of. Their bids have gone uncontested. We are in conference turn 5 out of 5. So we, there, we still have war score left. But if, uh, you, you, if you have a lot of these contested areas, you can run out of war score and you might not actually be able to take everything from the nations you have defeated. So, uh, for instance, you could... Uh, I don't know. As, uh, 
That's Germany once you defeated the... Uh, if you managed to defeat Poland before... Uh, without starting World War II. You might not have the war score to take all of it because the Soviet Union joined in from the other side. So you kind of have to split it and it might actually end up with Poland still being a small Polish state in the middle. Because neither of you had enough to take all of Poland. Because you were busy fighting over whatever region. Which is a cool feature. I think this is going to be... This is going to change the peace conference quite a lot. And it actually makes it into a more fun process. So we still have loads of war score. We have absolutely nothing we could do. Uh, actually we could. We could go back here. And now this cost us 30 war score apiece in the start. And now it's going to cost us even more. We could contest them and try to take them from... Uh, from Ethiopia if we wanted to but uh, Ethiopia is in, uh, in such a bad pickle as it is so we will let Ali Salas have these from the fascists and uh, then we can just press uh, confirm and exit to finish it up Ethiopia got three states uh, we annex the, uh, uh, the the fascists and uh, we puppeted North Africa I think this is a good outcome for us and uh, we can bump the speed up here again and uh, finish off the rest. So our the rest of our navy is here now. Let's just bump it all up together. Ethiopia wants to bring peace. And uh, uh, that's it for now. And uh, the cooperation of the bourgeois is, is no longer fulfilled and neither is seizing old equipment. We did get to keep the railway guns though, that's nice of them. Let's uh, put some defenders on our core territory. And let's have a look at the Dodekinese. This should be a colony state. Okay, it's damaged down here. Uh, this is an occupied state even, it's not even a colony state. But we shouldn't have uh, as many places anymore to have oversight on. Uh, our cavalry divisions might not be yeah, the cheapest at least. Production cost per suppression. Okay, so Aragorn has spawned. I've got some military factories. Uh, the only thing we've really got left to do in this uh, game now is to keep going down the focus tree let's uh, let's uh, just go down here so we are still here we got the flying school would help our air force get better so we'll go with a pop uh, popular front don't think there's any more stumbling blocks on our way down to Isul de la Vigny. and they should be looks like they are mostly 35 day focuses And we will stop by the special brigades, I think. We get the uh, assault battalions down there. I want to see what they are. So we've got our air force here. We can have them stand down. And let's put them on training. We might want to start off a production run of new fighters. Let's... Uh, we could use the old biplanes here as well. Let's, uh, uh, let's make the CR-42. We're not going to be using these in combat anyway. So we upgrade the engine. I actually think the CR-42 had um, cannons and not machine guns. Yeah, so uh, I think it actually had one light machine gun and one heavy machine gun to start off with. And then I experimented a little bit with having some... Heavy machine guns under the wings. We don't have the heavy machine guns unlocked, so let's go with some. Actually, let the, 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 let's go with it this way. Let's put on some light machine guns. Don't need to have too many. I wonder if we've got the CR-42 in here. I doubt it, though. All right, there we go. Let's have a look. This is... I think this is the CR-42. Looks like one.
See if we can find one down here too then. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Now let's, uh, let's, let's add some rubber fuel tanks on this one too. Now we probably don't want to have the self-sealing fuel tanks as an axis member on your uh, on your fighters because you usually have a lot of factories into fighters and that's going to be a lot of extra rubber. But we're not going to be building as many as they did historically. Uh, we could go for uh, drop tanks I guess to just get the range up a little bit on on this one or armor plates. Yeah, they didn't have any kind of drop tanks. Let's go with some armor plates. Now this is uh, not a meta fighter, but this is a, a cool fighter. The uh, this is the C. Uh, I think it's spelled with all capitals. CR forty two. Oh, can't capitalize the numbers. Palco. This is a really cool aircraft. If you want to check it out, it built one thousand eight hundred of them. I think. Okay, so we finished our focus there as well. Let's uh, get some into production. Uh, let's uh, take the factories off from there, I think. We can import some extra. And if we put three there, let's, let's cancel the trucks. And we want to have another two factories on them. That's an even 16 to import. That makes me happy. Um, yeah, so the, the CR-42 Falcon first flew in 38, I think, and they kept going. And they were actually used quite a lot on the eastern front. The uh, world's last combat capable, or the, the last biplane to actually see real combat, and it did quite well too. It was very maneuverable. Of course, it wasn't as fast as the monoplane, so it had a tough time. Okay. Um, Japan's going in to China. But we still want to select a new national focus before we run away from it. That's uh, the whole reason we're here. So we gain... But yeah, we want to check that out too a bit as well. Now that we have swapped over, we, have, uh, we actually had this one unlocked a little bit before we just didn't deal with it. We're going to deal more with this one in, an, in another playthrough. So we can gain a little bit more towards the communist faction or the socialist faction. The socialist faction is the democratic party, a democratic side of the uh, of the communist tree. And then we've got the communist faction coming up towards this way, and you get a certain bonuses for reaching these. So we have. Where are we right now? We are at 15% and within 10 to 30% we gain these modifiers, some extra manpower, mobilization, speed, decryption and communism support. And these keep increasing as we go down. Here we get some supply range too. And uh, we actually lost one. It looks like the mobilization speed disappears once we are up at the top. So if you want to keep the mobilization speed, you can't go all the way. So we, we kind of want to go towards this direction. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go in that way. And uh, a lot of the focuses, of course, also have this uh, balance of power. So this one moves it towards the communist faction. And this one too. Probably the Garibaldi Legion as well. But if we were to go... Especially if we go towards these ones, they go towards the socialist faction and towards the democracy. So it would be cool to have this one within more of the countries. I think Germany is one that would make a lot of sense to have. Let's uh, grab our armored units out. Pompo, Pompeo. Okay, let's go. Let's uh, ha half horses anyway. Oh, now we finish the Im improved infantry equipment. Uh, just a little bit too late. Oh, we get, get some more things we can do here as well. Alright, so a leader steps forward and here we actually have to pick a leader. 
And we have uh, Sandro Pettini, who is a staunch anti-fascist. He gave us some political power gain, war support, and uh, same uh, ideology. And we can have the uh, Palmiro Tog Toglia Togliatti. Togliatti. They'll give us some stability and political power. And we got Antonio Gramsci. Who'll uh, reduce our political power gain and stability and increase our communism support by a lot. Oh. Now for the uh, achievement we need to have Antonio Gramsci as our country leader. So uh, obviously we pick him here today. We will uh, keep on down the path to uh, progress. I think that's most of the new features we've been able to cover in this uh, quite quick game. There's uh, obviously a lot more depth into them than uh, there otherwise would be. That's uh, some more of these militia units. Let's grab them in there. Do we have any more? No, we can have the Alpine divisions here too. Provisional government in the Kingdom of Greece. This would be in the... Yeah, sure. They have our blessing. Emilia Earhart disappears. And in Croatia. Now, Croatia would be down here, right? And we have an occupied state. Is there anything else down here? Probably a bunch of these. No, these are cores. Good. But that would be in Zara only. Yeah, we can have a Croatia. No, they got uh, Istria as well. Uh, free civilian factories. Let's just build some more civs then. No, we don't have to deal with that while we're doing the rest here. And they fixed the conversion bug here as well. We've got one B frame here that we can convert. So let's convert that one over. Before when you had just one left here you could kind of spam out. So if we were to... There's only one per week. But if you had like 20 per day. And you converted one you would get 19 out of thin air. So they fixed that one. Unfortunately that means that uh, when we're converting this one. Uh, if we will yeah, now it doesn't matter but if you're convert, converting to 20 and you only have one you'll actually lose the production from the 19. now it's only the last one that actually does that so it doesn't really make a big difference and we'll keep on going down here and japan declared war on china and uh, can probably disband some of our older. No, oh, I got this one's a full, full on one. Yeah, let's uh, let's have them exercise a bit too. And what do we have for aircrafts? Winter war airframes. Oh yeah, we we got a bunch of them back from the civil war, of course. So yeah, we don't think we need to select anything here. Here's an air volunteer cap, that's quite nice. I got some cannons, we can check those out. Um, let's do that. Uh, let's uh, keep it on post. Yeah, we don't really need this, we can just select the uh, heavy machine guns, I guess. And yeah, we wanted to see on the cannons, the equipment. If we were to replace the fighter weapons here with cannons. Yeah, uh, when on logistic strikes, we gain extra ground attack for having two cannons. So on uh, our basic close air support, this is quite good. Also, really increases our air attack. It reduces our agility by quite a bit as well. But this is a close air support. And the uh, cannons, of course, make more sense on a close air support. Arguably cannons are will be. Uh, why can't we save it? Ah, okay, so now we don't have enough thrust because this one adds an additional or weight when we're on naval strike, close air support, or logistic strikes. It doesn't actually add the weight otherwise. 
So this means that this uh, this aircraft is now underpowered with the two cannons on, and it can't take off, and then we're not allowed to save it. But we uh, we can have one cannon, and it would allow that because we have the weight. We have we have enough uh, thrust for it to take off. It really doesn't matter this one anymore. But. Uh, uh, End of uh, good order and everything. No, this is the BA60. No, 65C. No, we're up to D already. And get rid of that one, press there and go there. And uh, we can upgrade the old ones. I think that's a good use of it. Um, what, do we, what, what, what could we do down here? Foreign influence. Oh yeah, because we got loads of puppets now. So, a national support for the Italian Union. Okay, so we gain oh, quite a lot of equipment actually. That's uh, 12,000 infantry equipment. No, 11,000 infantry equipment, 10,000 support equipment, a bunch of trucks. And some uh, negative consuming goods. It's not all that wrong. Production efficiency cap. A union in the party. Now what do we need to go down to follow the Soviet Union? We need to have a high opinion from the Soviet Union. Okay, so you need to improve relations if you want to go down this way. If, uh, if you want to join the common turn, I guess this would start our own. Yeah, we can start a faction with Xinjiang in Paraguay if we want to. Or I think it will automatically be founded. It might not say yes, we'll see. We're just going down there. So we should be starting to get the... getting the Falcos into the new... new air wings here. They have rebalanced the ships a little bit as well. They don't provide as much uh, naval supremacy anymore, or rather the naval supremacy is more based on the IC cost than on the hull. Doesn't really make uh, too big of a difference. Okay, so let's... Uh, yeah, we want to grab the special brigades first because I want to see what they are. Xinjiang accepts and Paraguay rejects. And we can grab someone else here. Construction companies. Would be cool to look at one of these. Have they changed anything here though? No, these look, these look like the same. Let's. Uh, Air, extra air experience, that's good. Oh, we can actually upgrade our CR-32s to 42s, we will do that. And now we can check out the assault battalions. And here we will modify the tempered gap of the Kamishi Rose. And uh, moves its power towards the communist side a bit more. I wonder if we can... No, we're still not allowed to modify the uh, Kamichi Rose. Uh, maybe if we can do that through here somewhere, but I don't think so. Okay, let's uh, just keep going there. But if we go for... A new one here. We should be able to select the assault divisions somewhere. Oh yeah, we haven't unlocked them yet. Might need to start now. Oh, we can have camels. That's because we start with territory in Africa. And you get access to the camel unit. Yeah, so we can't select anything. No, we should have gained access to them. Hmm. Why 
wonder where we where, where, where one would find those. Let's uh, keep it on post. If we go for a uh, create an empty, can we select them here? Should be under infantry. No. Can't even select the militia here. Okay, so. Did we gain any new. I think all of those are the same. These are the irregulars. They have uh, irregular infantry. Did that unlock for... No, this is just malicious. And you can see that they're, they've got a little bit more HP than in standard, but... Otherwise they're not too... Too good. Yeah, just uh, grab something there. Okay, so... Uh, we don't know how to use those. Just found it... Uh, I found this one with the assault battalions. Oh, so it's a support battalion. Uh, that, that explains why we couldn't find it. So we can select assault battalions here. That's quite good. I've got loads of HP. That's actually really, really, really good support battalion. That's cool. Compared to an ordinary infantry battalion that has 25 HP. Or we can have some... Or we can go for doctrines. I don't think they've changed anything in the doctrines. So we still kind of want to get down towards uh, multi-altitude flying. There is something to be said for this one. Which increases close air support's agility by 20%. When you've designed uh, designed an aircraft like we did with the BA-65, which counts as close air support, so this one would get 20% agility. And you could then have it flying the air superiority mission. Doesn't have any negatives on that. Now this one's for close air support because we got a lot of... We got the uh, dive brakes, which only give bonuses while on close air support, but we could apply uh, air superiority with it as well. Okay, so we got the heavy machine guns. Uh, let's, let's grab the engines there. Um, we want to yes, check out these as well. Yugoslavia wants some... Do we have anything in our reserves though? And what do we have in our reserves? We have a few CR-32s. Oh, well, we... These are going to go if we sell their bombers, or it's fighter production. I think what we want to do is... Uh, no, that's... Uh, is it 50 they want? 25. CA 101s, SM, these are naval bombers. Or who are they? And you can't see any naval attack or naval targeting, because... Uh, those stats are locked down underneath here. Let's see one of ones. Yeah, okay. Let's uh, let's disband this one and see if they see if they go and prove the sale of some bombers from our reserves. Okay, what do we need for this one? Military cooperation, which requires to follow the Soviet Union. Okay, so has completed focus service. So we, okay, we need to go and get the, where is that focus? Requires one of the following and we have raised the people. So now we need to go for Servizio Informazioni Militare. I think the easiest way to find that one is gonna be And that one's over... Okay, so we needed to do the secret military police. It was nothing more. <laughs> nothing harder than that. Okay, we will grab that one. Then we were... Yeah, we... Okay, so we got some more. We put those into our... Divisions there. We still can't actually put anything in there, but we can train up to 32 of these now. If we wanted to. 
uh, we want to just check out the machine guns. So we have the heavy machine guns unlocked now too. And the heavy machine guns do have yeah, more air attack. But they also cost more and weigh more. So if you compare two light machine guns to two heavy machine guns, you can see that air attack is plus 50%. But they weigh three times as much and cost twice as much. So light machine guns have a higher air attack to IC value and a higher air attack to weight value too, I think. Heavy machine guns are kind of the middle ground. They they cost a little bit more. They're actually the most most expensive per air attack, but they don't weigh very much, so you can you can stack up with the 4x heavy machine guns. And you can get a decent amount of air attack. No, I wanted to have four of them, of course. You can get loads of air attack out from from this. And it's only a weight of 12. Uh, we can't have this one here anyway because we've got these. We could if we remove the armor plates. Then we could actually save this design. And we'd have loads of air attack. Uh, yeah, we're not going to save this one anyway, I think. And uh, then we have the cannons which are the other side of the equation. They weigh a lot, but they have loads of air attack. So if we went with uh, full on cannons, we'd have 40 air attack, but we can't uh, take off because we don't have the thrust. Now what we could do is add a second engine, and now we can save it. But uh, the downside, of course, is that each fighter costs 35, and this is, uh, remember, an interwar fighter. The 35 uh, production cost for one one into war fighter, and compared then to, and the steel only has 15 attack or air defense, so it's gonna get shot down quite quite easily. Now, yeah, what did we have before? Something like if we were to make something like this instead, with uh, one engine, we have a 14 attack instead for 24. So as long as these are if these are shooting down the other ones on a one-for-one -one basis, which is uh, pretty close in air attack to what the air defense is. And you can probably get 50% more of these out than the, the heavy fighter ones. So it's... Uh, air is still mostly a numbers game. The one with the numbers advantage usually comes out on top as long as the equipment is close to evenly matched. But you can make some really wacky designs and the balance of aircraft is going to change. I'm, I can guarantee it will be completely different by Christmas than it is right now. Just like it was with the tank designer. There's a lot of edge cases that Paradox wants to rein in. That didn't really work out. That they didn't really find before all of us million players got in on playing the game. Okay, so we bypassed the Garibaldi region. Or Legion. Where is that one? Oh, because the Spanish Civil War is over, of course, we bypassed it. Uh, the Nationalists won again, as usual. And the United Kingdom wants to live at na limit naval rearmament. Ah, okay, because we have a big navy. They actually want us to, to sign the uh, London Naval Treaty. That was quite fun. Yeah, okay, we'll, <laughs> we'll accept your demands this time. <laughs> Don't think we really need anything else here. Oh, um, we've set them so they're not allowed to actually travel here. They had a hard time merging up. I think if we do it this way, they will have a little bit of an easier time. Okay, so we bypass Triumph in Africa as well once we finish this one. Because of course we not in war in Africa. And uh, we got an agency, thank you. And we finished the Servicio Informazioni Militare. We got the uh, Divalio de Lire. Okay, so it might have been worth doing that one before to get the uh, consumer goods factory reduction and some base stability. We're up to quite a lot of stability. And I only did the uh, improved working conditions once. Now we can finally do El Sol de la Venir. Let's grab that one up and finish off this campaign. As our ships are merging in there. Mm, 
Yeah, it should be fine. And now they've actually managed to ship everyone out. We've got our... Yeah, the communist Italian Greece. In Rhodes. Yeah, they'll do lots of good. And I think... That was a cool flag. Italian North Africa. Ah. I've got some operatives. We probably have a few of these are probably scripted operatives. Yeah, I'd guess uh, Francesco at least. Let's, uh, let's grab him. That's fine. Even more dockyards. Let's uh, add some convoys then. Let's to get rid of the notifications. Oh, we can have another operative. We can have two. All right. Yeah, the cool looking, the cool looking pipe there. Oh, we get loads of them. Okay, so we completed Il Sol de l'Avenir, and uh, this should be the end of our campaign. Oh, it doesn't really matter which one we pick here. As soon as we unpause, so I get the pop-up up here. I don't think that one is recorded. But uh, you can just go in here and... Uh, it's, it's gone from up here. It's somewhere probably down close to the bottom, right? No, it's in... Uh, it ends up into alphabetical order. And they've got a lot of ones on T. Yeah, well, uh, it, it's not up here anymore anyway, so we, we've got it somewhere in, in this big thing. So uh, thank you all for watching the uh, formation of the Socialist Republic of Italy. And uh, we'll see each other again soon, I hope. Take care and see you next time.